So now back outside in uh, Hyrule Town. Um, just head up into North Hyrule Field. And you can head up and then up into um, the Hyrule Castle Garden. So uh, this uh, is uh, kind of annoying, but it's in pretty much every Zelda game. You gotta dodge the guards. So it might take you a few tries. The last part is kind of hard. The first two guards are pretty easy, but then the last part is kind of hard. So just do what I do on the video here. Um, it's kind of hard to explain in full detail what I do, but uh, I'll try. And when you get down to this last guard, go behind the bush that he's on, um, and then you'll see the other guard there. You want to go when uh, the guard that's in front of you has his back turned, and the guard that's to the left of you is just starting to come down. So, like right now, as you see, and um, it might take a few tries, but... Uh, so yeah and then um, with a kinstone fusion I was trying to get the other fountain on the other side of this garden because that leads to a heart piece and I actually get it later on in this chapter but uh, that just leads to a fairy fountain so if you've unlocked that one by your little kinstone fusions in Hyrule Town then uh, you can go in there whenever you want to get um, some fairies so um you can kill the ropes here you don't have to all you have to do is step on the switch and then head through the door so in here you'll be in hyrule castle now and you can head up um back into the elemental sanctuary and just keep heading up and then finally you'll get in the room with the pedestal so when you get in here place your sword in the pedestal and instead of being red it'll be a snazzy new blue color which is pretty cool but um, it doesn't do any extra damage it just lets you split yourself into three copies this time so a little bit more puzzle opportunities um, I'm gonna tell you right now the next boss requires you to do this so it gets kind of annoying but um, so Now just you want to split yourself, and you can't choose how many you want to split yourself into. It has to be three now. So you see there, just made three copies of me. And then you want to head out of the elemental sanctuary. Um, now back in Hyrule Castle, there's nothing you can do. Just head back out the way you came. And then... And then you want to go back um, up the ladder there. So then just talk to the guard to your uh, right. And he will kick you out. So that's what you want to do instead of trying to go through all that. And this time there will be no guards on the other side of uh, the castle garden. So that tells you that the secret entrance is... Uh, on that side but you see there that uh, there's a little um, pond there that has a heart container in it so we can get that later but then you just go down to uh, the bottom right and um, cut the grass go in here it's another training academy get the heart piece for heart piece number 29 use your lamp now to light the torches in here and now you can train so previously if you would have found this you could have gotten the uh, you could have gotten the heart piece but you couldn't have trained so this is Grimblade and he's gonna teach you the um the sword beam so uh, it's in pretty much every Zelda game it's just uh, when you slash your sword when you have full health you'll shoot a beam out uh, it's a pretty cool technique. Not much else to say about it. It's 
it's pretty easy to do. So, um, after that, you can just head out and then head back up the ladder there. So now you can head out of Hyrule Castle Garden and into North, um, into North Hyrule Field. And, um, I was just testing out my little sword beam there. So now, once you're back in Hyrule Town, there's a couple of new buildings that are open since you defeated the Temple of Droplets. The school is open, so there's a couple of things you can do there. Um,. You can go up here, and if you want, you can fuse kinstones with the boy at the top. Um, you'll see the little rupee symbol there, so it'll get you rupees. Um, but you see, I don't have the. Uh, I didn't have the kinstone, um, but if you do, I suggest doing it. Although it doesn't really lead to much. Um, so you can just go around and fuse kinstones with the people in here. It'll lead to new areas and different things. You see here though, um, I fused kinstones with this girl. And this was the one that I was looking for actually. And this one um let me go to North Hyrule the or I mean the Hyrule Castle to get the piece of heart. So it's gonna be different in every game, the person that this effect goes to just to tell you it's not always going to be that little girl because all the effects are pretty much random in the game so after that you can use your um cane of packy to flip the pot shrink down and if you go through here um once you get to the end you'll see there's an area with a piece of heart that'll probably be the last piece of heart we will be getting in the game because as you see we need four um we need four clones to push it and we can only make three right now so um just remember that spot for later and I accidentally go up and get grow again but um there was one other thing I could have done um and then I realize it so, uh, don't do what I did and, um, grow back again, um, if you're just going to look to that place, which you really don't have to do, but you want to head out of the school on the left side here and then head up the little staircase there. You can talk to the Minish if you want, and then you want to turn big, and you can open the treasure chest for a red kinstone piece another one so lots and lots and lots of them um then after this now you can grow you can go ahead and grow now and if you go back to the main room of the school here um you'll see a statue in the middle you can push this statue to open up a new pathway so in here you see you're going to need bombs. Lucky you have 30 of them and hopefully you have a full bomb bag. Um, your remote bombs, remember you can only place one at a time. And you really only need to bomb one side. I started on a different side. But just keep bombing them. So once you get towards the end here, um, you can open the treasure chest for um, a 100 rupees, and you should, um, for this next part, I suggest having about uh, 700 rupees. So um, come in here. 
and you'll see three dancers here. Fuse kinstones with the one um, on the left, and she will make a man appear that wants to s to run that wants to rent out his house. So that's what he said. And that is all that happens.